Think we should leave one out for the homeless? Me neither, they're all mine. What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Heading back to the Herbin Stell shelter. And I forgot the little clippy piece that twists onto this to the bottom of the camera. So my apologies. I'm gonna have to handhold this. It sounds like they're having football practice across the creek or something on that field. <laughs> I made it down here yesterday and worked on the shelter. So let's see if today, if anybody came after I left and messed it up. I'm kinda nervous with the people across the shelter or the, yeah, I see people over there running around. They're having practice. <laughs> ah, gonna have to try to be uh, nonchalant, maybe. I see vehicles and stuff, oh great. Oh boy. Hear them? I'll show you here in a minute. I got some tie back that I was gonna do some more across the top, make it more waterproof. I don't know. Camp seems to be All in order still. All right, so pack is extra heavy because I brought some dinner. I got just a simple steak and then uh, a goofy idea for breakfast. I'm gonna try something new. I brought a couple brewskis. So tonight's pretty much just gonna be, I mean, gathering firewood, testing this out. Um, I may throw another support through the middle here for insurance purposes. I don't think it should go anywhere, but you never know. So, yeah, gather firewood, drink brewskis, have a good old time, relax and unwind, and wait for the guys across the, the water there to uh, knock it off. Because this Tyvek, I was gonna throw uh, over right now, but uh, Tyvek loud, <laughs> and it's kind of windy, so it's gonna be tough to hold it. I don't know. We'll see. Play it by ear. You know, just wing it, guys. So it's been super windy today. I think you see it blowing in. That thing's held up pretty good for being as windy as it is. You can hear it a little bit moving. It's picking up here and there. Uh, so far, so good. That little A-frame is doing its job. See how it blows in right here? We gotta fix that. I gotta do up a little door or something. Figure something out for that. Kinda got an idea of a weavy style door. I don't know. Play it by ear. All right, so this is the game plan for my door. I'm gonna put one down the center, and then I'm gonna weave little sticks, kind of like a brush or debris door. That's going to be the easiest and uh, definitely going to slow down the wind. So I do not have a paracord, so I'm going to have to use natural uh, that cordage. So yeah, we're going to wing it and try to find some natural cordage uh, with this bad boy together. corners tied up gotta do the one in the middle and then we can start weaving 
And all I'm gonna do is just stick them through, pull them up, like so, and push it down as tight as I can get it. That's all I'm gonna do. Nothing too fancy, and it should do me justice. Justice! <laughs> Pretty simple concept. Simple and easy. I'm not gonna fetch anything. Nothing like that. Just needed to block the majority of that wind. Keep whipping away on this. Like I've been weeding it. It's been about two hours to make this freaking thing. Oh. Tea. It's kind of work enough just to be our wind blocker for now. I could, I should do a stick horizontally to help uh, stabilize it. Yeah. Let's go throw it on the door and see if she fits. Well, it definitely fits, but it is not doing anything to <laughs> stop that wind in there. So I think I'm gonna have to actually do another plastic roll up door inside there and be able to put let's say a log on the bottom of it to help stop that breeze from coming completely in because look at that you can just hear it it just keeps whipping right through there well that sucks <laughs> it's definitely going to help I could have done two if I would have left one side longer than the other. Could have made it put, maybe put it on a swivel. You live and you learn. I guess I learned. All right, now that I wasted my time on that, <laughs> I figured out a goofy little way on the inside. Just have to do the plastic and set a log on it. Uh, now we're gonna start gathering some firewood. Start stacking it up along in there. So it'll get me through the night. So that's the next game plan. Then some dinner, I'm getting hungry. Ah, this is like a cord. In case you were wondering how I was using that tripod, stick a piece of that heat tape stuck in the bottom of the camera, stuck it on. Seems to be holding up pretty good. I tell you what, I love my silky, but this is that replacement blade with medium teeth. I really wish I would have uh, paid more attention and uh, got the larger teeth. That's what I'm gonna definitely have to do. Cause that thing, it doesn't cut the sticker stuff or the crap. And this is still the original blade that came with this. Which is, it's still surviving, but I think I need a new one for this one as well. Cut, cut, cut. Yay! The great outdoors. I started dragging some branches around. 
So if anything comes this way, I'm going to hear it come through these branches. I don't have it completely 360 around yet, but it's a start. I don't know about you guys, but it's beer break time. It's just some malt liquor, some Mickeys. They're pretty cool. So they got these little uh, uh, riddles on the cap. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with these. They have like, I don't know if you guys can figure that out or not, but I already figured it out. Place to be. Tell you what, about tired of cutting wood. Yeah. It's come along. Like I said, it's just relax and unwind time now. I ain't gonna get that tarp up there today. Or tomorrow, I'll probably have to do it next time make it out here I don't know we'll see I got a buddy actually that uh, wants to on some private land actually build a little cabin so that might be all winter is gonna be in full effect here shortly we don't have enough time this year but maybe that'll be a little project next next fall Something better in this crap shack. <laughs> it's pretty neat though. We'll find out. Anyway, keep cracking away at this freaking wood. And uh, drink more beer. About to get wild out here tonight. Yeah! This is my lantern. That thing got completely black. Ouch. I'm going to take a little bit of juniper. Oh yeah, it's doing the job. So you know what? Sit right out of there. Hey. Look at that, you see through it now. Beautiful. Never gonna learn if you don't try, guys. I mean, come on. Get out there and do something with yourself. Rub some juniper on something, see what happens. <laughs> all right, that is my bundle. That's all I'm gonna do today. And if I run out, I don't care. I'm tired of cutting lumber. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the game plan. Whatever I use up there, I use up there. I'm gonna, I brought my pan uh, to do up breakfast and dinner. I'm just gonna set it on top just like that and uh, let it cook up, see how it plays out. I didn't really wanna pan do my uh, steak. I might not actually. I might even fire it up outside. I don't know yet. Second guessing. I don't know. What should I do? Hmm? You tell me. Should I do it straight on the coals? Last time I did that, it was a mighty funny. All right, yeah. Sold. You talked me into it. I'll throw it straight on the coals outside. How about that? See you in a minute. Like I said earlier, I'm making things easy on this outing, so it's kind of a cheater, but. This is some instant fire starter. You can find it in your camping section on Walmart for like a dollar. And it works great. Um, campfire, fireplace, cooking charcoal, emergency, no harmful chemicals, eco-friendly, smokeless. And I, I think it uh, it burns and winds up 30 miles an hour. It burns on snow and even floats and burns on water. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not a bad deal for a dollar. Like you put it in your emergency kit or something.
Simple as that, it takes off. Now we wait for her to get bigger and slap a stake on her. Let's season this bad boy up. This is just um, some Montreal steak, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a little bit of Lowry's. And it tastes lovely. Do a little down first. Throw my steak on there. Throw some on top of there. I'm going to tenderize the old Danish. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. Just like so. Let that seasoning sink. Uh, Somewhat set in a little bit. Take over the veins of the beef. Now once that goes to coals, slap it all in there. All right, check check this one out. Screw no, right? Screw. I don't know. I can't figure this one out. Screw no, right? I don't know. <laughs> if any of you guys can figure that out, put it down in the comments. Let me know. All right, those coals are perfect. Now, like I said, you gotta slap her on there. <laughs> Actually, I have a little pie tin. I'm gonna throw over this just to help help it cook a little faster. And I noticed there's been a buck rubbing his antlers here. I mean, that's right in front of camp. I wonder, I don't know, besides the fact that I found the airsoft BBs and the little ladder I had sitting right there was flung over here. I don't know, maybe a, I can see maybe a buck trying to rub his antlers on that and then got stuck and took off flung it but the way the heat shield was knocked over in that and the other chair or bench interesting something to think about I guess I don't know if you can hear it I went inside and I seen that mouse again running along the brush He shouldn't get to my food. He was kind of over my backpack though. But we'll see. Hope not. Better not. Because I will punt Stuart Little if he tries to eat my food. That's just that. Let's see how this is. time down at the river a long time ago that was back before anybody watched my videos and it was the best freaking steak I ever had <laughs> they say your meat will cook for 10 minutes after you pull it off heat anyway so I'm gonna cover it a little bit 
maybe give it a couple minutes and then uh, eat it. It's not bad, but I usually like mine a little bit medium. So we'll see. Darkness is upon us. I think I'm gonna fire up that stove inside as well here in just a second. So we'll see. I'm not gonna undo my bed or anything yet, just in case the, you know we gotta get the hell out of Dodge in case she takes up and because we're sitting in a big tender bundle. We'll see. The lantern's kind of going haywire. Liz just kept blowing off. Weird. See what happens. Grab my steak and sit down. All right, dinner is served. Sit down and try to enjoy ourselves. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. Hard to see. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh man. There's something about steak on the coals. I'm telling you. It is so freaking good. Like sears in all the flavor. It makes it so just oh my. Tender and delicious. And don't mind a little bit of charcoal on there. Or the ash. That uh helps your digestive system. It's a win-win. I'm gonna eat this because I always have a problem talking with my mouth full. So yeah, take five. See you in a minute. All right, let's get this stove going. It's getting chilly now. Kind of got to use my cell phone as uh, my light. It helps boost it because that I put my headlight on that because I forgot my other one. Yeah, whoopsie doozy. Anyway, do the same thing with this. Uh, the leftover is that fire starter. Try to see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, let me throw it up top here. Oh, that's falling through the cracks. Oh, it's definitely getting chilly. We'll see if this little bit will take off. I have the leftover uh, wrapping or the paper from uh, that heat tape in there as well. Hoping that'll take off pretty quick. Whoa, 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 let's not. Let's stay in there. How about that? Well, let's see what happens. We're off to a great start. Play it by ear now. <laughs> Next scene's gonna be me running through the woods looking back at this whole place on fire. <laughs> Hope not. That's not what I want to happen at all. So, yeah. She's going now. Putting off good heat too. It feels really nice. Wonderful. Well, the stove is doing its job, that's for sure. Staying nice and toasty in here. You hear that mouse just keep running around and squeaking. Well, besides that, it's not bad. Open. This thing's rusty, so there we go. 
Perfect. It's doing its job. We're doing it! <laughs> Sorry for the lighting, guys. It's terrible right now. I did just hear some coyotes off in the distance. Sounded like they were running through the patch of woods, so we'll see if I if they try to come into camp or not. But so far, so good. Beer time. Oh, almost missed me chair. Time to sit back and enjoy a cold one. Can't see what this one says. It says clock player player pools pool time player. All, I don't know. That one's kind of weird. Let you guys see that or not. If you know that one, leave it in the comments. <laughs> I don't know. Can't tell if that's like a ball ring bowling time player I don't know something like that who knows one more time you can see it well I guess we're at that point of the night where there ain't nothing left to do but drink brew and watch the flames flicker don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh, I got my sleeping pad and stuff set up. Still got to do my uh, outdoors lab blow up pad. And then uh, a sleeping bag, of course. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not holding heat like you would think it would because of this wall and that wall. But it is reflecting off of that about half of it stays really like almost overwhelming I guess because that's way too big of a stove uh, for this little spot but if I was to say tarp these two walls it would stay mighty fine in here I think I might just for S's and giggles possibly I don't know We'll see. Time will tell. I don't want to throw too much. I, I really don't want to throw any more money into this thing because who knows who's going to destroy it. But yeah. Sitting around watching the flames. Cheers. We're out here. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Ah. Uh. can't see this one. What the heck's that say? Target. I don't know if you, uh, you guys ain't gonna be able to see that. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this. Work for you guys. You see it? Oh. Dog it? Dog it? A golden retriever. Go retrieve it. <laughs> Go retrieve it, maybe. If that's a golden retriever. Oh, you guys can't. Oh. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Mind boggling. Oh well, yeah. This is this is it. <laughs> that's the thing people don't always say. I like going out and filming these things. Um, like Les Stroud even said, like going out, doing survival shows and stuff like that. It's boring when you're by yourself, you know. But make the best of it. Here we are. We're doing it. This is pretty neat. The first camp out with the stove. The creation has come alive. 
beginning to wonder if that's going to be enough lumber for the night, but that's all I'm going to use. I ain't going out cutting anymore. I'm over it. But yeah, I'm going to finish throwing the bed together. And, uh, put my socks on and stuff and sit back and just enjoy, you know? Yeah. Guess who the coyotes? Ambulance at the same time, dang it. They're just over. They're just over. They're getting close now. Find out if they're running the camp. Good old city noise. I'll keep you posted if they come in the camp. And usually, sometimes, well, not toward, like the middle of the night, you can hear the owls pretty good too. You know, I think I am going to uh, just go ahead and tarp these walls. Who cares? Or maybe just aluminum foil like that one. Turn this thing into a hot box. <laughs> you know, because once snow starts flying, that's going to be awesome to come out here and just sit in an oven <laughs> while it's below zero outside. I think I might do that. Anyway, it's hanging out, doing my thing. Okay. All right, so check it out. So you know how I brought the tie back? Well, I decided, why not just throw it up on the wall for now? Make it a little more sealed except for that little part there because I was going to throw that on the roof I mean <laughs> I covered my bed and leaves but why not you got it might as well use it I brought it it's going to help us stay way warmer in here go for gold you're never going to learn if you don't try right rather be warm than cold Hotter than Hotter? Maybe Harry Potter Slaughter The Heat The Heat Alright, tell me if you guys can figure out what this one says I'm coming up with Oh What do you think? I think it says, pass me a Mickey's. Pass me a Mickey. Maybe. I don't know. They do have a website, actually, that you can go to and check out what all the caps say. But a little funner to guess sometimes. I mean, hey, I had the tie back on the ground just sitting there. I was feeling a slight breeze, so, I mean, the way I did the shelter, it's a debris shelter, so it's not going to be airtight whatsoever. I had it, I had it here, so I figured why not just throw it up. It's doing a job. The only thing, I can't uh, have the stove door open now because uh, it seems to want to get smoky in here. 
So if I shut the door, just leave the bottom vents open, uh, it's not so bad. And it's way warmer. It's way warmer in here now. Especially on this half. I mean, you stand on the half with the stove, of course. I mean, you can almost catch a tan from this damn barrel. <laughs> it's toasty. Don't get me wrong. But it's just the, the whole back wall being breathable. And that wall as well. It's... It's cold. But, I, well... The low is only supposed to be 35, so it's not even supposed to get below freezing. And then tomorrow is supposed to be a really warm day, um, like a high of 62 around 5. But I'm not going to stay out here that long. I'm going to uh, wake up, cook some breakfast, and uh, might tighten this up a little bit. Just leave it as is. Why not? It's already here. Hauled everything out here. So yeah, that's the game plan. Still sitting around. Now I can't watch the flames. I gotta watch this damn lamp flicker. <laughs> Which sucks. I can open it, but it's it just gets for some reason the smoke wants to come out. I'm not quite sure why. Kinda. It's not doing it too much right now, but yeah, it is actually. It's like it's venting more through here than it is. Yeah, I gotta shut it. Yeah, it's venting more in here, so it's not going out the. Couldn't breathe and suck all the air before through and was sending it through the pipe. And now it's not breathing like that. But, whatever, it's still staying afloat with the two bottom vents going and staying hot as normal. As should be. Not as normal. This is the first time I've ever used this thing besides in my yard. So yeah. It's out here winging it. Having a good time. <laughs> Keep you updated. There we go. I figured out if uh, I close the top door and open that bottom one instead of having those two little uh, vents open. It's perfect. Let's out. Excuse me. Let's out a lot of heat, and it keeps it roaring up the vent. All right. This lantern kind of sucks. It keeps filling up with soot really bad. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if that's supposed to be propped up or not. But it's kind of V'd in there. I don't know. First time ever really using one besides last time. Tips would be greatly appreciated. Or maybe it's just a lantern. I don't know. Alright. Last brewski. You gotta go to bed. Sometimes you gotta sleep after you slay a 30 pack. I'm just playing. <laughs> Only brought a sixer. <laughs> uh, what's this one say? What the heck is that? Uh, I got that one. What do you guys think? I got it. Ring my bell. Not sure if that's punch me in the face and ring my bell. Or, uh, what there? But that's why I like these Mickeys. That when you're out here in the sticks by yourself, it gives you something to do. <laughs> uh, yeah. So far, so good. Still hanging on. Um, we're not on fire. I think we're gonna make it through the night. Yeah, I'm gonna finish the brewski. Then I'll lay down. Yeah. What else is there to do? Hopscotch? No. 
not by yourself. It's not any fun. Jeez. If I would have brought some tequila, I probably would have ran through one of these walls. <laughs> not just playing. I don't, I don't do hard liquor. Stick to the brewskis so you feel okay in the morning. Know your limits, man. Know them. Uh, but yeah. The longer I keep going, the longer I'm going to ramble. So um, let's not hang out and scramble. Eggs? No. Brains. Your mind's going to be messed up after watching this. What is he talking about? Don't know, man. Neither do I. Surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so that's that. When you get to drinking, you start to thinking. Or do you think? Too much. Yeah, your mind wanders and it goes... AWOL. You guys confused? Yeah, me too. Nah, I'm just playing with you. Anyway, yeah. That's the game plan. Finish this brewski. Lay down and see how breakfast plays out. So... Cheers. Well, guys, it's time to hit the hay. Oh. Actually, I need to throw my socks on. One second. All right. Got yeah, my socks on. It's time to hit the hay. Oh. What is this foul liquid? This isn't vodka. I'm just playing. Oh, it's been a good day, guys. It's been a good day. Oh yeah. It's time to nap, nap. It's been a long day. Tell you what, it doesn't seem like much, but even cutting up all that. That's why they say uh, when you cut. When you cut your own lumber, it warms you twice. That's because you sweat your butt off when you're cutting it, and then when you burn it, bingo, it's not rocket science. Anyway, good night, guys. We'll catch you in the morning. Toodaloo. Morning. Fire went out. Pretty chilly this morning. Fire went out in the middle of the night too, like one in the morning. I woke up, got it going again. The sun is starting to come up. So I'm gonna get up, get another tinder bundle going. I almost burned up all the wood. So, that was about a good amount. Just perfect. Ugh. Up and at them, huh? Yeah, woo! All right, we are back in action. It's kind of amazing how fast you work when you're freezing. It sucks now that I covered that front. You can't really see it in here. Light. Uh, it doesn't get much light in here. But I'm going to set my pan up here. Let that thing. I'm hoping I can get straight up top of here. It'd be just fine. I think I should be. We'll see. Alright, so my breakfast idea is scalloped potatoes. Simple, light, cheap and some sausage snossage so I figure hey why not make it like a kind of like a little casserole thing just minus the vegetables so that's what I'm gonna try all right let's see what happens I think I'm actually gonna have to cook it up in my uh, pot instead of that that leans completely to one side. And that's going to be easier to stir though. 
Ah, let's just try it in there. Didn't bring no butter. So that's gonna be. Let's see. I just have to watch it closely. Hope it doesn't stick. So I get it open. Sissy. Yeah, I'm working on the front of the stove sucks. Oh, that's gonna be tough to get them all to go. We'll see. Trial and error. Throw me up a little sausage in there. That thing, that was, that's uh, way too much sausage. So I'm not gonna put the whole thing in there. Sprinkle on the cheese, the glory. Let the glory unfold. Well, to the touch that ain't hot, so I think this is done. Let's take this outside and sit down and eat. All right, give it a taste test. Not too shabby, could maybe. Yeah, it's just too much work. I was gonna say you could boil potatoes first and then throw them in there, but I mean that way it worked pretty fine. Not too bad. Simple, easy, and quick. No, no preparation. Don't have to worry about. I don't know some. Uh, some people like to go all out when they're out here to cook. Sometimes I do. Most of the time I'm just. Something quick, easy, and keep moving. But yeah, not too shabby. All right, now that breakfast is out of the way, time to pack up and head out of the woods to start our day. Dr. Seuss, what? <laughs> ah. Yep, you know the drill. Back up, get on out of here. It's been cool, cool experiment. I mean, that thing worked pretty dang well once I... You can't stand next to that thing, that whole area. It's like I almost need to do aluminum foil here. And that partial wall maybe. And it'll bounce really good back here. Or maybe if I threw some juniper up in uh, the higher spots. But now she ain't even focusing. She lost her mind. Hello. Hello. Come on, Cannon. Get it together. All right. I usually save you guys the whole packing up routine. Because, uh, I mean, that ain't really all too fun to watch. If you really want me to do it, just go ahead and ask, and I suppose I'll film it. <laughs> Nothing too fancy about it. Whatsoever. It is freaking hot in here. I can't, yeah, it's almost unbearable. That stove, all the lumber's about completely out of it. It's just down the coals now. So I'm gonna bundle it up. And it should be golden. All right.
haul. Well, guys, it's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Nah, just kidding. I hate that one. It's been a good time. Getting out to the sticks is always a good time. Thanks for coming along on my adventure with me. Oh, I was gonna pull that tighter, but it doesn't work when you try to do it both times. I'm not that strong, I guess. Anyway, make every day great exploring Earth. Catch you guys on the next one. I don't know what I'll be doing. Probably just wing-ding, chicken-winging things. Have a good day!